Hello everybody, it's T. Kyle, and I'm back again this week with another Q&A video, except this time, like I kind of mentioned in my last video, this video is going to be all anonymous questions. So I have my Tumblr app open, and I have not checked, I have not peeked at any of these. I don't know what these are gonna say, and I'm about to click the messages button and find out. Suck my ass? No. What is your fave cereal? My favorite cereal is Honey Bunches of Oats. Love you and your blog. Thank you. Love you too, even though I don't know who you are. Say you're a doctor. You have to perform life-saving surgery on some type of bad person. Serial killer, bomber, terrorist, whatever. Would you be able to perform the surgery? No because I hate blood and I hate needles and I hate knives and I hate hospitals and like, it's just, no. That is why I make gifts and I am not a doctor. What is your favorite Shania Twain song? Um, I kind of only know one Shania Twain song and it's like, man, I feel like a woman. Sorry, girl. Would you hold it against me? Hold what? Who is the best person you follow on Twitter? I would say my favorite people on Twitter are at Sam Lansky and at Jerzing. They are the two people who consistently make me howl in laughter every single time they tweet something. So go follow them. <gasps> oh my God, I like this one. Aliens are invading Earth next week, and the only way to save us all from annihilation is for five legends to join forces and create the ultimate girl group. But it has to be perfect. Which five queens could save the world? Oh, there's so many queens. Okay. It would be China from the WWF circa like 2001, Sivir from League of Legends, look it up, Latrice Royale from Drag Race, Madonna, and the last one would be Serena Williams. Badass girl group right there. They will all kick your ass and fuck you up. <laughs> oh my God, this person referenced Bad Girls Club. First of all, bitch, I think you're amazing. Second, thank you for the work you do. You make a lot of people laugh and that is not to ever be underestimated. Oh, that's sweet, thank you. What is the one thing you're really proud of yourself for doing or accomplishing in life thus far? Wow, that's deep. I was not expecting these kind of questions. I was expecting it to all be like vulgar, but y'all are going in. The one thing I would say I'm proud of doing recently is making the decision to quit my job. Even though the past few months have been a fucking roller coaster, that was really the moment where I literally jumped ship and was like, no, it's time for me to Oh my God, I could make so many analogies. It's time for me to jump ship and learn how to swim back to the shore and find myself and survive. No, but really, I think leaving my job was the first time in life where I was like, stop, what is going on? What am I doing? Where do I wanna go? What are my passions? What do I wanna do with my life? Instead of answering to other people, it has been one hell of a journey so far. It's like this. Favorite Madonna song, Forbidden Love off of the Confessions album. If you could, would you change your natural hair color and to what? Nope, absolutely not. I love being a fire crotch ginger. Do you ever feel misunderstood like pink? Um, there's a lot that people don't know about me that I want them to know. Are you still planning on moving to San Francisco? Well, if someone would like to hire me, I am a graphic designer and I am currently available for employment if you would like to hire me. Do you eat ass? No, I don't eat ass. You shit out of your ass. Why would anyone eat ass? It is disgusting. Sorry. You're brave for committing to reading these on camera. Fuck anyone who said something hurtful. Thank God no one has yet. But with that said, tell us your craziest fantasy. No need to go into detail, but location, general scenario, things like that. Craziest fantasy? Well, all of my craziest fantasies definitely come from 
my dreams, which are always extremely vivid. And I have a lot of dreams where I live underwater. So I think that's kind of one of my craziest fantasies. I have weird dreams like that all the time. Why do you like Britney Spears so much? The reason why I love Britney Spears so much is because as a person, as Britney, she is humble, she is nerdy, she is weird, she's quirky. She also, as we've all seen, has a lot of anxiety issues and I, kind of relate to that. And then on the flip side to all that, she is, you know, the princess of pop music. She is an icon. She's legendary. Whether you like her or not, she is hands down one of the most iconic female pop stars and will forever be one of the most iconic pop stars. She's just a really cool girl that happens to be a pop legend and she makes good music. So how can you not like Britney Spears? She doesn't do anything to make you not like her. What moment of your life closely resembles Britney in 2007? Oh my God, do I even share this? Well, I may or may not have done bald Britney in a drag show when I was in college. So I literally looked like Britney in 2007. Stop promoting this flop-ass blog on reality TV gifts. Bitch, I didn't ask you to follow me, so you didn't need to click tkyle.tumblr.com slash ask and then type this out and click send, bitch, log out. Favorite flavor condom. I have never tasted a condom before, so I don't know. Do they make Cheez-It flavored ones? Oh, here we go. Of course, this is the big question, everybody. The big question. Top or bottom? You'll have to go and ask your man. And that is it for the questions. That was really painless. I was expecting it to be way more vulgar and way more uh, a non-hate, but it was actually kind of uh, deep and meaningful and emotional. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for asking questions, and if you like this video, let me know, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment, and let me know if you want me to do this again soon, maybe in a couple weeks, I'll do another one. Thank you guys again for watching, make sure to give me a thumbs up, and subscribe, and buy Britney Jean on iTunes, and I will talk to you guys soon. You know, for all the Anon hate that people get, they made the anonymous little guy kind of cool looking, right? He's just like, yo, I don't give a fuck.